this is Nindy Kerr from Nindy's Creative Corner. Today we are going to do a gatefold card with a belly band. Anyway, um, we're just using designer series paper. This is the pressed petals. I think that's the name of it. Um, the information will be on my blog. So let's get started. We are using So Saffron cardstock for our card base. So we will cut it at five and a half by eight and a half. Then we will rotate it. Notice I moved the cutting blade out. That's because I have. And we are going to do a score line at two and one eighth because that's half of four and a quarter. And that's the only score line we're doing. So as we are folding this, make sure it is lined up completely with the edges. And then we will fold this part in without the score line. So it matches up in the center and make sure it's even with the edges. And this is a four inch wide piece of designer series paper. We will cut this at five and a quarter. And we won't eat, we'll save that one for a different project. And now we will do two one and seven eighths pieces of designer series paper. And just make sure it's straight. This doesn't look quite straight to me. Okay, I'm going to slice off that little bit and we will save it to go on the inside of our card. Now try to keep these in the same position you cut them so that the little flowers match up. And we'll just flip this over like this. Well, here's where I hid my adhesive. Last time I did this, so that I could get it centered. I want this little flower in the center. Okay, there we go. I decided I would change the belly band color. I 
I think I will use the mossy meadow. And we want a one inch by eight and a half. And we want a one inch circle also. Now technically it doesn't matter which side is up, but you can... I think I want that big flower on the top. Now try to center it, unless you want your flower off center. And loosely fold it because you want to be able to have it slide up and down. And you'll notice that there's one inch space. Well, I should say a little space in between. So, what we're going to do to fix that Yes, let's see, where's our one inch circle? Can't remember how I attached. Okay, so we will use this tape since it's stronger. And just put it on both ends. And then we'll use the circle to hold it together. I also decided we were going to do a so saffron flower this time. And we'll even stamp it. And we'll use the Daisy Lane stamp set. And crushed curry ink. We will attach these together with a couple of glue dots. Two glue dots makes it so they don't move around.
Now the hard part is getting them evenly spaced. Okay, that one looks good. And well, the center isn't as dark as I would like. Oh well, it will do. I'll go get an embellishment for it. And then we will put a couple of glue dots on the back. And mount it on our circle. Okay, we forgot to add the little piece to the center and the bottom. So we will do that. Let's see, which end do we want? I should have brought in my silicone craft sheet. But if you roll it off before it gets grungy, you should be okay. And stick it a little ways up from the bottom and next to the fold. And we'll trim off the excess right at the fold. We'll use some shimmery crystal effects for the center of the flower. Now this will probably take an hour or more to dry because it's such a big glot, but we have finished our gatefold card with a belly band. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my blog for more cards and inspiration. Thanks. Bye.